Hey there, hit stick football fans. Remember when the Carolina Panthers used to fill up the stands and actually win some games? Yeah, we're struggling to remember too, but hold on, don't tune out just yet. The Panthers might just surprise you this year, or they might be the NFL's punchline. Today, we're diving into the top offseason moves, what they mean for the Panthers' future, and whether there's any reason to keep pounding. If you love brutal honesty with your NFL updates, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our latest content. Let's kick things off with the new faces. The Panthers made some moves this offseason, but are they game changers or just rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic? Xavier Leggett, the speedy wide receiver, was taken 32nd overall in the draft. He's supposed to be the guy to help Bryce Young, who's heading into his second season. Leggett's got the speed, but can he catch a break in a struggling offense? Jonathan Brooks, a running back out of Texas, was the second round pick. The Panthers hope his explosive running style can ignite a ground game that's been, well, grounded. Trevin Wallace, a linebacker from Kentucky, came in the third round to fill a void left by, you guessed it, another player who was traded away. These moves are like patching up a leaky boat. Will they actually keep it afloat? Speaking of players who left, let's talk about who packed their bags. Brian Burns, the Panthers' best player last season, was traded before the draft for some extra picks. That's like selling your last working car to buy a lottery ticket. Burns was the heart and soul of this defense, and his absence will be felt in every game. DJ Moore, okay, so he was traded before last season, but seriously, are we ever going to get over it? The guy was a cornerstone of this offense, and his absence is still felt by Panthers fans everywhere. That one still stings. Now, here's the million dollar question. How do these moves fit into the Panthers' strategy? Is there a master plan, or are they just throwing darts at the draft board? Xavier Leggett is expected to be Bryce Young's new best friend on the field. But as the saying goes, you can't catch what's never thrown. Here's hoping Young gets the protection he needs this season. Jonathan Brooks might add some fire to the run game assuming the offensive line can open up any holes. Trevin Wallace will need to make an immediate impact on a defense that's lost its leader in Brian Burns. Honestly, it's hard to say if this strategy will pay off or if it's just another year of the same old song and dance in Carolina. Time for some expert takes because we're not the only ones with opinions. Peter Schrager of NFL Network has expressed cautious optimism about the Panthers draft picks, noting that while they have potential, the team's long-term vision remains unclear given the significant departures. Greg Rosenthal from NFL.com highlighted that trading away Brian Burns, arguably their best player last season, for draft picks is a high-risk move. He questioned whether the new additions can fill the void Burns left, and whether the Panthers have done enough to compete in the near future. Darren Urban from azcardinals.com discussed the Panthers' offseason strategy, emphasizing that the focus appears to be on rebuilding for the future rather than immediate success. He pointed out that this might mean another challenging season for Panthers fans. In other words, don't hold your breath waiting for a playoff run. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, our bold prediction for the Carolina Panthers in the 2024 season. Drum roll, please. We're calling it now. The Panthers will finish the season 413, securing the worst record in the NFL. Trading away your best player, Brian Burns, and relying on unproven rookies might be the recipe for a rebuilding year, but it's not likely to get you many wins. This season is all about laying the groundwork for the future. Hopefully, a future where the Panthers can keep their stars and their fans. So, what do you think? Are we being too harsh? Or are the Panthers really in for another tough year? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest NFL news and highlights. Thanks for watching Hitstick Football, where we tell it like it is.